Well, I mean, it's like Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, and Alan Rickman together at last. Uh... <laughs> Galaxy Quest is a perfect movie. I'm not the first to say that, but I just like to reinforce it every now and again. It wonderfully blends elements of the comedy and science fiction genres. It succeeds as not only a Star Trek parody, but also an homage, and a damn great one at that. Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! Not a minute of screen time is wasted in this movie. And despite having an amazing ensemble cast, they each get their own time to shine, with all of them having their own individual character arcs. But of those characters, one in particular has, in my opinion, the most important arc of the movie. An arc that gives the movie its heart. That of Alexander Dane, and his character within the character, Dr. Lazarus. By Grabthar's hammer. What a savings. I really can't imagine this movie without him. But more importantly, I can't imagine this movie without the actor behind that character, Alan Rickman. What? I was just about being on the show, man. Who brings a great dry humor to the role. Are you enjoying your cat mop blood ticks, Dr. Lazarus? Just like Mother used to make. The plot of Galaxy Quest, for those unfamiliar, revolves around the washed-up crew of a fictional 80s sci-fi TV series, also called Galaxy Quest, being called into action when an alien race, thinking their show is real, recruits them to save the galaxy. Of the main cast on Galaxy Quest, Alexander's Dr. Lazarus is the lone alien on the crew, marked by amphibian-like features on his scalp. It's no secret that the character is loosely based on Spock and Leonard Nimoy, but unlike Nimoy, Alexander is the most bitter and regretful for his role in the Galaxy Quest series. I grabbed her. A Shakespearean trained actor prior to Galaxy Quest, Alexander has now come to be known around the world for playing Dr. Lazarus, particularly due to him coining the show's most popular catchphrase. By Grabthar's hammer, you shall be avenged! Yeah! I think what that's called is good writing, you know? It tells you what to do. You've got this ghastly phrase which kind of makes him die inside every time he has to say it. By Grabthar's hammer was originally just a placeholder in the script until they could think of something more fitting. But as filming began, it had already become a popular phrase amongst the cast and crew, and it was decided that they keep it in. By Grabthar's hammer, Dr. Lazarus. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, sir. I was only just... Don't. Yes, sir. Being trained in Shakespeare himself, Rickman just nails the character. You can feel the contempt and disgust he has for Galaxy Quest in every one of his lines early in the movie. I played Richard III. Five curtain calls. There were five curtain calls. I was an actor once. Damn it, now look at me. Look at me! I can't go out there, and I won't say that stupid line. And having a ridiculous prosthetic scalp makes these scenes all the more enjoyable. One of the great filmmaking choices in the movie is never letting the audience see Alexander without this prosthetic scalp. Even in the scenes when he's at home, he still has it on. It's a great little touch. Rickman actually had a say in the design of this piece, with him remarking, It was important for it to be good enough, to convince the aliens who believe were the real thing, but also cheesy enough to imagine that it was something he applied himself. Most of the comedy involving Alexander's character comes from his contention with Galaxy Quest, especially star Jason Nesmith, played by Tim Allen, which leads to several great moments throughout the film, like this one, when Alexander believes he is being praised for saving the crew, when they're actually praising Nesmith. Commander Taggart has saved us! It's just not fair. I guess it also helps his performance in that Tim Allen and Alan Rickman didn't really see eye to eye behind the scenes. 
I'm sure that there's some bit of me that becomes the character I'm playing on some level. And certainly Alexander Dane never found Tim Allen's uh, character remotely funny. Just a pure irritant. <laughs> In a big dramatic moment towards the end of the film, when Nesmith has to come clean about not being who he says he is, Tim Allen actually got emotional and had to leave the set afterwards. Which prompted Rickman to react, I think he just discovered acting. He also has what I've come to accept as my favorite line in the movie. One I frequently quote in my own moments of peak frustration. Alex, where are you going? To see if there's a pub. There's also a really funny deleted scene where Alex tours his crew quarters. Where's the bed? Just as on your home planet, sir. If I may say, it took me three years to master the spikes, but now I sleep with a piece I never thought possible. As I said earlier, his character arc is the most important in the movie. During the film's climactic action scene, Quillick, an alien who has come to idolize Lazarus, is fatally injured. And for the first time in his life, Alexander realizes the impact of his character finally accepting his role. Also for the first time in his life, he delivers his famous catchphrase with true meaning. By Grabthar's hammer, by the sons of Warvan, you shall be avenged. There has been lots of talk about a Galaxy Quest sequel for some time now. While I'm not opposed to the idea of continuing the Galaxy Quest story, it will be very hard for it to maintain its heart without Alan Rickman, a testament of a truly great film character. There were constant images and moments where you just thought, no, I've lived this. I grabbed 